Hey there everyone, assalamu alaikum, it's me Nazmus here and welcome to this video. In this video we'll take a look at how to find a unit vector. Uh, this problem is brought to you by the math textbook um, in, uh, in Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Zill and uh, I believe it is, um, let's check, I believe it it is by Mr. Zill and Dennis G, Dennis G. Zill and Warren S. Wright. So let's get started. So the problem here is um, a we have two vectors a and b. A is has the components of two and eight, or two i and eight j, and b has components of three i and four j, or three comma four. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do this. So the question here is we have to find the unit vectors for this vector which is found by 2a minus 3b okay so uh, how do we do this oh, well basically let's start by simplifying the equations so let's choose a color that will look appealing to the eye let's do orange okay so our, our, our vector is 2a minus 3b to get the vector uh, it's not in the standard form but to get the vector we need to first simplify it so actually uh, rep uh, let's have to uh, replace uh, the a and b with the components we could simplify this so this is equal to 2 um, 2 i plus 8 j uh, minus 3 i oh actually actually minus 3 times 3 i plus 4 j so this is simple this simplifies to 4 i plus 16 j minus 9i plus or minus 12j now let's combine the like terms and we have um, the i's and j's they are the like terms this equals 2 uh, 4 minus 9 that is 5 minus 5i negative 5i um, and 16 minus 12 is um, plus 4j so that's our new vector so this is our new vector so we need to find the unit vector for this vector now we could write this vector in components form if uh, uh, if you want to if, 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 if you want another way of seeing it so our new vector is has a negative 5 in the x coordinate and 4 in the y coordinate and 4 okay great so now we need to find the unit vector for this for this vector so this a unit vector is a basically has a, a length of one so it has one i and one j but as the same direction as this vector so the unit vector who has the direction of the same that is same as this um, will is basically a unit vector has a length of one and but it has the same direction as this so this vector so um, so the unit vector for this vector will have a length of one. So the unit vector for this vector would look okay. Let's let's do it like this. This vector will look like this. Actually, no. This vector will look like this, and the unit vector would have the same direction, but will have a length of one. So it'd be one in length. So how do we find that? There's an easy formula for that to find that. So basically. To find that, we need to divide this vector, each of the components of this vector, by the magnitude of this vector. The magnitude of this vector is the length of this vector. So we need to find first the length of this vector. So to do that, we have to follow the simple rule, the Pythagorean theorem type thing. So the distance formula, whatever you want to call it. So the, to find the magnitude of this vector, so is we have to take the square root of the first component squared plus the square of the second component and this will give us the magnitude for the vector this is in turn equals to 25 plus 16 which is that is 20 plus 16 is 35 plus uh, 40, um, 35, 40, 41. So that would be square root of 41. Okay, so square root of 41. 
So that's the magnitude of this vector. And to find the unit vector would then mean we have to take this vector, um, 5 and 4, and divide it by 41, which means that it'll be minus 5i divided by 41, actually square root of 41, can't forget that, plus now 4j divided by square root of 41. And this would give us the unit vector for this vector. Now we could do it in, uh, we could get a approximate answer, so we could do something like this. Let's do calculator. Um, so it'd be negative 5 divided by square root of 41. And this would be the x component or the i component, 6.4. It will be 6.4. And the y component would be, uh, that is 4 divided by, oh, 4 divided by square root of 41. Actually, no, sorry. 4 divided by 41 square root of 41. That would be 6.4 as well. Actually, 0 0.062, sorry, okay. 0 0.62, I think I made a mistake over there as well. Uh, negative 5 divided by square root of negative 5 divided by square root of 41 and this is a point negative 0.78 okay so there'll be negative 0.78 so this is our unit vector this is our unit vector for this vector right there for this vector that's our unit vector now Again, the unit vector always has a uh, magnitude of one, and we could we could check that. Um, so to check that, let's do the uh, distance formula again. So let's check that this has a length of one. So we do that again here. It'd be um, um, minus or uh, actually minus point seven eight squared. plus 0.62 squared and let's see what that comes up as so so we have um, 0.78 squared plus um, Point, what's that? Um, point oh six, point six two, plus point six two squared. Actually, no. Point six two squared, and then let's close the parentheses, and we're going to square root this. And as you can see, it's 0 0.9963. Because we approximated earlier, it's very close to 1. So this is very close to 1. So again, this is a unit vector because it's length of 1. and has the same direction as this vector right here. Um, right here. Um, so yeah, so that is the answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, have a great day.